Bitcoin and things like it is the equivalent of the red pill. Okay? It, we are entering a completely world of uncharted water Have right you now. made any investments in Bitcoin? So, I mean, I personally, I own Bitcoin in my hedge fund. I own Bitcoin in my fund. I own Bitcoin in my private account. Uh, it is a huge deal. It's a huge, huge, huge deal. Because what you're talking about right now is for the next three to five years, an unbelievably better store value. It is gold 2.0. I think this is a currency, a currency that's really going to work eventually. Well, I think it is working. Um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Um, but in the meantime, um, there's a big industry around Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, people have made fortunes out of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, there is no Bitcoin company. There is no uh, Bitcoin building. There's even, not even a Bitcoin server anywhere that you could shut down. It is completely distributed. Um, that's what's unique about Bitcoin. It is, for the first time, a way for the two of us to exchange value online without a third party intermediary. Until the invention of Bitcoin, for you and me to exchange money online, we had to employ a third party, like PayPal, like Visa, like MasterCard, right? And we live in the 21st century. If we wanna have a video call to China, we can do that for free. But to send a couple hundred bucks, which is essentially just ones and zeros being moved around, costs 5% plus takes over a day. Bitcoin is, exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. You'll see Bitcoin trading at 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Rick Falkvina does an excellent analysis. He predicts that Bitcoin will capture between 1% and 10% of the global Forex market, which implies a price of between $100,000 to $1 million per Bitcoin. Most of the people who are on the sidelines not buying Bitcoin today will start to buy Bitcoin when it gets over 1000 mm. And then a greater percentage of people will definitely plow into Bitcoin when it starts to get over 10000 It's still predicting Bitcoin, $10,000 per Bitcoin in three years. Kassaris, he is the CEO of Zappo, which is a Bitcoin wallet and Bitcoin vault. I think it's mostly a very positive thing. I think we're going to see ups and downs like with any other emerging technology. Um, but I think Bitcoin is here to stay and it makes sense that, that it be taxed and treated like any other. So let's make a boat call here. In 10 years, what do you think Bitcoin will be worth? One Bitcoin. Between half a million dollars and a million dollars. A lot of people are just seeing the charts and thinking how high it'll go. But what I'm doing is ca counting backwards. I mean, this is a transactional, this is a transactional currency and it is a store of value. As such, it is a product and a service competing on a very tangible market for stores of value and for transactional currencies. So what is, the, what is the size of that market? Right, and this and is important. How, and how much, how big a market share can Bitcoin realistically take within a, a uh, foreseeable time frame? Right. When you ask that question, then you come up with a, with a market cap of Bitcoin total, and then you divide that by the number of Bitcoin in circulation by, that, by your estimated time, and seeing how Chinese are buying Bitcoin like crazy, I actually had to adjust this number upwards. But then you come up with a number of about two to five million okay. dollars per Bitcoin. I suggest that everyone go back to buy one Bitcoin. Uh, not, too, not too much, only one is enough. If everyone in this world, people, uh, just to go back buy one Bitcoin, you know, the Bitcoin value go to the one million dollar. When the Bitcoin have one million dollar, you know, the all around the world will be crazy and uh, everyone will be the follow and the other digital currency just to be you know um, be grandson of the Bitcoin so for me I think uh, for a lot of people they don't e they exactly understand why why it's Bitcoin is Bitcoin the currency of the future or is it the payment system they're developing bingo it's the payment system it's the blockchain encryption and they're they're interesting things I think Bitcoin or the really blockchain encryption that's behind it has a greater ability to bring more of the world's population out of poverty than anything we've seen. If you're new to Bitcoin, take your time to go out there and Google it and learn about it. It truly is one of the most important inventions in the history of humankind and certainly the most important invention since the internet. Go out there, make a Bitcoin wallet, get involved, start using it, learn about all the positive ways in which this is going to improve the lives of every single person on the planet. 
uh, get involved, do it today. It's going to help everybody. Thank you. Satoshi Nakamoto is the person or persons behind Bitcoin. Launching the software in 2009, Nakamoto passed majority control onto scientist Gavin Andreessen in late 2010. And Andreessen's comments capture Bitcoin perfectly. He says it's like better gold than gold. Nakamoto's believed to be in possession of 1 million Bitcoins, equivalent to 1.1 billion US dollars. But his name is probably a pseudonym. The real identity of Satoshi Nakamoto is unknown. It's been suggested that electronics companies Samsung, Toshiba, Nakamichi, and Motorola are the founders, but there's been no confirmation. It's a mystery for the modern world.